Yeah, 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 mambo vipi, mambo vipi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hope you're well, hope you're doing well. My name is Gary Wainaina. For those who are new here in this platform, please, uh, I want you guys to help me with one thing. First of all, if you can hear me, just uh, say hi. Say hi on comment section. Say hi on the comment section. If you can hear me nice, clearly, loud enough, just wave at me in the comment section. And uh, if you can help me share this uh, broadcast, because we are about to share a lot of very important stuff, because this is the season for Green Card. And that's one of the best way you can come to the United States of America. So please share with your friends in Kenya, share with your friends in Uganda, Tanzania, everywhere. Uh, if you see guys who are interested in the uh, green card lottery, please share, 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 share. I see guys, I see guys. Let me give up some shout outs to my friends here. I see Mama Malaika. Thank you so much for joining. Please, and make sure you're watching from YouTube. Go to YouTube, go to YouTube, go to YouTube and share and share and share and share because I'm about to show you how uh, what green card is all about. And first of all, we'll be sharing uh, about uh the i mean the steps the steps of a green card because a lot of people are inboxing me asking me what is this green card what is this green card what does it do to you uh daniel chemon uh hi man what's up what's up what's up how is the going uh christine ombasa thank you so much i see you're watching from uh facebook please go to youtube and subscribe to mkenya marekani uh alois thank you so much hi 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 yes if you can hear me clearly uh steven docs thank you so much uh tuned in thank you so much bro uh, make sure you go to youtube to mkenya marekani we are live there go to mkenya marekani go to mkenya marekani uh i see uh toin wainaina hey my <laughs> namesake 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 mambo vipi bro uh i uh thank you so much for watching from youtube god bless you god bless you i see um patrick karaoke Thank you so much, bro. I see you're watching from Facebook. Please, if you can skip over to YouTube, that will be perfect. Manze uh, tunaingoja sana. Yes, today I'm, uh, I'm going to be uh, doing a, the step, step by step on what you expected, especially when you start Green Card. And I'll be talking a lot about Green Card this week. So please, make sure you share to your brothers and sisters back home. Uh, my friend James Cargo. Jamka Production, I'm telling you, one of the best photographers here in Seattle, Washington. Thank you so much. This is my brother from another mother. Asante sana. Neema inatosha kabisa, kabisa. Make sure you subscribe. Tafadhali, Mr. Jamka, enda, enda, enda kwenye uh, YouTube. Watch from YouTube. Watch from YouTube so that I can tell guys to subscribe to your channel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Da Daniel, thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, if you've shared, make sure you show me thumbs up. If you've shared, show me thumbs up. If you've shared, show me thumbs up that you've shared. Uh, I am never on Facebook. Huh? I'm never on Facebook or YouTube all the time. Yes, yes, absolutely. Mama Malaika, I salute you. I salute you. Uh, who else is here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mama Malaika, I, I salute you. I salute you. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Uh, when is this process starting? I'm, I'm about to start. I'm just welcoming guys. I'm welcoming guys. Uh, jump cup. Eh, jump cup. Wabi makofi ya jump cup. Na amekuja hapa hivi. Na he's already on YouTube. This is his YouTube channel. If you're in Seattle and you want uh, photography, videos, you want uh, your wedding to be captured on camera, your church to be streamed live on YouTube, because nowadays we are all about online. So please talk up, talk to uh, jump cup studio. I see my brother also, Ricky Nanjero. Ah, one of the greatest bassist uh, in Nairobi. Uh, thank you so much for coming here. And please go to uh, to my YouTube channel and watch from there. Watch from there. Ricky Nanjero, one of the best musicians uh, from Nairobi. Thank you so much. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, when is the process start? The process is supposed to have started, but uh, it's delayed. Uh, we're going to go direct now to the green card lottery. So, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, without any further ado, let's go to and uh, make sure you're sharing. Make sure you're sharing. So, uh, we are here now. So, step number one is first of all, this is the site you go to. You see, it has a gov 
travel state travel.state.gov so when you go here uh this is the place where you are supposed to fill in like for example uh if if you go to another site there is a lot of con people who will con you and green card filling is free totally free you fill the process is free until when you're selected that's when you're gonna uh, start paying okay but anyway green card uh, filling uh, from the first process to when you're selected it's free absolutely free but when you go to a different site there's a lot of conmanship so uh, make sure you go to travel.state.gov that's where you will see uh, the information and now we are here on step one step one is the entry uh, that's where you submit your your entry all applicants are supposed to uh, for this, this, if if you come to this uh, site you are supposed to uh, submit all uh, your documents electronically okay there is no paperwork you're supposed to fill like you're you're supposed to post anywhere you're supposed to uh, fill it online and when i click here you see uh, this is also the place where you're supposed to see if the the green card uh, diversity program is open for now it's not open that's why you see check status check status is only for the people who had already applied applicants of uh, 2021 and 2022 so 2022 they applied uh, already they had applied last year okay so for this year you'll be elect uh, selected in 2023 okay so this is where you check your status this is where you check your status okay so uh let's go back let's go back so you see it's not open it's not open this is the place where you're supposed to know that uh you you can feel your green card now it's not open i think there's a delays uh because of covid i think there's a lot of uh there's a lot of delays uh in all departments especially here in the us and you see this is the site you're supposed to go to uh dvprogram.state.gov anything without this gov anything without this gov is a fake one is a fake one so make sure you go to the right to the right uh website otherwise you will have uh to waste a lot of money paying uh fees that are not even uh, worth it so after you after you've uh submitted all your forms electronically we'll go we'll go to the uh, next time i'm gonna come here we're, we're gonna uh, see the form exactly what you're supposed to fill but today we're just uh, looking at the step so we are here in step one step two is when uh, you've filled everything. Uh, this is now the place where there is a selection for all applicants. This is where you you get an email whether you're selected or not. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, when when there is only two answers that you can receive. You are, you've been selected for the 2023 uh, DV lottery or you have not been selected now if you have not been selected is not the end of your journey you can keep applying you can apply as many times as possible and as we always say green card is not like a, it's just like a tool okay it's not like when you win a green card now your your life here in the us will be easy it will be like for any other person okay it's <laughs> some people think that when you win green card now you will be given a, a car you will be given a house you'll be given uh, food no 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 in fact when you when you win a green card that's just like a tool yesterday we said winning a green card is like a tool and uh, a lot of people ask a lot of questions so uh, especially if i win green card for example what will happen to me who will host me now when you're applying for your green card you must have a host okay a host is somebody here in america who will host you because uh, you are new here in the us and uh, you don't know anybody you don't know any place to go so uh, a host is somebody who will uh, like host you here in the US because you're new, you don't know anything, you don't know any place. So a host is somebody that you must have. And also when you're filling your, your, your paperwork for the DV lottery, you must uh, provide somebody who is going to host you. So you have to provide an address. An address is not a PO box. An address is uh, a place where that person lives. So uh, make sure you have... Uh, uh, host host here in the us who can host you and a lot of people also miss the green card uh, selection because you don't have a host so make sure you have a host first before any other thing 
so let's continue that's step number two step number two is where now they go uh, for the selection of applicants now what happens when if you're selected okay if you are if you're selected uh please note the department of the state will not mail notification letters or notify selectees by email us embassy and consulate will not provide a list of selectees entrance uh status check on the edv website is the only means by which the department of the states notifies selectees so this is the only place where you can see that you're selected edv edv and all these this website they end up with dot gov dot g o v dot g o v so uh make sure you uh go to uh that state Let, let's let's click so that you can see what's happening yeah this is the place where we went the first time i i i was here this is the place where you check if you've been selected so you see this is a 2022 entrance uh status check this is 2021 entrance check uh so this is the place where you check if you're selected now um if you receive a notification through the edv website that you have been selected for further process this is the in the dv uh, program and you are physically present in the united states you may be eligible to adjust status to obtain permanent residence uh, through the dv program for information see adjustment of status so for example there are people here who apply for green card and they are already in the states so uh let's let's just click here so that you can see what uh what it means uh when the divide the diversity visa selectee is already here in the united states yeah sometimes uh people are already here in the us maybe you came through student visa maybe you came through uh other forms sometimes you can come here then you get married so that's that's totally different uh i am eligible to adjust status now what do i do so you have to know also if you are eligible to uh, adjust status not everybody is uh, eligible to for example if you are in the us and you have already filed for asylum uh, you have to wait for that process i uh, you're not you're not qualified to apply for the dv lottery okay but if you get married that's a different pro uh, program you can adjust your status anytime okay so uh you need to go and uh check also uh for the adjustment of status fee payment okay uh you have to know all this because some of these things are not free okay so this is this is the place where you go to see uh how much it costs to adjust your status okay and all these are all these things are online i'm just bringing it to your face so that you can be able to see so let's go back to where we were at we are now in the uh process number 4 okay and let me see let me see by the way if you have any questions let me see if you have any questions uh yeah we've just uh, uh rina jacqueline is asking when is when will the process start the process is supposed to already have started but it's not yet so we'll be checking there's that website i've already shown you that's where you'll be checking to see if uh, the process has has started but we are also waiting but if the process open up i will definitely alert you cuz uh, i'm always here on the internet so i'll be able to see and tell you if the process has started okay so uh let's go to the process uh, number uh, number 4 confirm your qualification so uh, every time uh, this is something that a lot of people have asked me uh, what happens now if i'm selected confirm your 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 qualification now if you've gone to high school education you have to already put it there work experience if you're qualified with work experience you must have 2 years of experience in the last 5 years in an occupation which by us department of labor definition requires at least 2 years of training of or experience that is designated for or as job job zone okay so uh let's see let's see what other things you're supposed to uh to yeah passport requirement uh beginning of uh now when in the last two years the passport is required to fill the uh, green card rotary okay you're supposed to have your passport uh, in the in the 
like maybe in the past few years uh people used to apply green card without even a passport but nowadays you have to have your own passport and uh that depends on your country like in Kenya I believe we have a new passport so you must have that new passport uh beginning with entries in the uh, DV 2021 the department of the states regulation require all entrants to provide a valid passport number so yeah all the uh, applicants must have a, a valid passport and even if you're coming for a visitor visa you must have a valid passport with at least 6 months 6 months open okay at least 6 months before it expires because uh what happens is for visitor visa the us gives you a 5 year visa and uh there's no need for you to be given a visa that is that on a passport that is almost expiring like you're remaining with 6 months uh for it to expire so uh please make sure uh, when you are about to apply either for a green card or coming here as a visitor make sure your passport is new uh otherwise it, it's going to be so difficult for you to have a, uh in fact you will not qualify if maybe let's say your passport for visitor if your passport is less is remaining like uh maybe let's say 6 months and less you will not be able to qualify to get a visitor visa that's b1 or b2 or even student visa f1 all those you not call it now for the green card you at least needs because a green card uh, you get a visa of you get the green card is 10 years so you see if your passport is almost expiring uh, that won't be good for you because you once you come here uh, you at least the the stamp says you will your visa will stay for 10 years so make sure you have that uh, a passport renewed it's going to be helpful for you okay okay let's go to step number 5 i'm going uh, very fast but if you have let me see if you have any questions uh let's see who is here uh daniel chemon i use a friend address in the us yes you can use uh, any as long as they are aware because once you get to the airport they will call that person and ask them are you aware that so and so is coming yeah if they are not aware then that's a problem on your side okay uh hello how are you gary i got my passport recently and have a photo too when will the website be open yeah uh, i'm not now sure because uh uh the thing is uh i've already i will i will link the the website where you are you're supposed to be checking all the time i'll link it on the on my uh, description so that you can just check because i can't tell you with covid everything has been affected and uh we are not uh sure when the dates are gonna open but uh the thing is you just keep checking you just keep checking because it's you who wants to come to the US so you you have to just do your due your due diligence and keep checking and make sure Vic, Victor Rono make sure you go to my YouTube and subscribe okay because I'll be bringing more information uh if, in case you don't see and I see uh, you will see the information here okay make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell okay Victor Rono is also saying how are you feeling Gary I'm glad to s- uh i'm glad for the information you're giving us yeah thank you so much bro i'm still recovering but i say it as i recover i need to give you information because this is the season for green card and um uh, information is power so if you have this information it's good for you you can help your sister you can help your brother and uh that's how we do it uh also yeah victor rono anasema anakimbia huko kimbia huko na kungoja yeah run very fast run very fast run very fast yeah okay so uh, make sure you're sharing this to all your friends and sisters uh, especially back home because those are the ones who need to apply for the green card lottery okay um so uh we we here uh, yeah number 5 uh, submit you are a migrant visa and alien registration application okay so after sub- the form that you need to submit is called ds1260 uh, for the visitor visa is ds160 for the uh, D- dv lottery it's ds260 okay you have to this is this is you know there's a lot of processes here this is just 
uh, this is the form now for the embassy now, okay? The other form feel is just for, is, is for the game. You know, lottery is like a game, okay? It's like Bahati Nasibu. You're trying your luck. US always, every year, uh, gives a platform for 55,000, over 55,000 people all over the world uh, to just come and work and live in the United States legally, okay? So uh, the DV lottery is that program that allows uh, you to migrate to the U.S. Because when you come as a student, you can you cannot work unless you you are only allowed to work for 20, 20 hours, okay, in the in the campus. But if you come as a uh, as a green card holder, you'll be able to maneuver uh, easily. But not that everything will be given to you on a silver platter, okay? It's just. Uh, it's just a tool for you to migrate to the U.S. permanently, okay? And the good thing also when, with a green card, you are able to go in and out of the country anytime. You can go to different, you can go to your home country, you can go to uh, different places depending whether they accept a green card or you need to apply for a visa, which is not hard. Yeah. So uh, now, w once... Uh, so after submitting the form DS-260 online, print the confirmation page. You must bring the confirmation page to your visa interview. So this form uh, DS-260 is for your visa appointment, okay? This is now, because it's like you're doing two processes at the same time. You're, you're applying for the game, the lottery, which goes to the uh, uh, KCC, okay? This is the uh, Kentucky Consular Center, okay? But the DS-260 is what uh, you will, it's like you're applying now to the embassy. That's where you go, and that's why they check all the information that you fill, okay? Yeah, so let's go to the next one. So uh, to check to check your status, this is, this is the place where you, and all the entrants check their status, contacting the KC, KCC, which is the Kentucky. And this is the place where we are also coming back where you check your status, okay? The dvprogram.state.gov. This is where you check your status, okay? So if you have that uh, uh, case number, you just come here, you fill in you, you fill in your case number, and voila, you get if you're selected or not. So... Step number six is uh, submit supporting documents. What are the supporting documents? Okay, so these are the documents. Review the information below to determine which document you need to obtain, okay? And these are the documents, the birth certificate, court and prison records. If you've ever been uh, held in custody, this is something you need to know. And if you don't, if, you, if you've never been in the court or uh, prison, you can pro produce a uh, legit police abstract, not not abstract, it's called what? Police certificate. What is that certificate we normally get in Kiambu, in the DC, D, DC or DCI, DCIO or something? Yeah, there's that certificate that you need to get from the police that you never, uh, they take your fingerprints and uh, and then they uh, confirm that you are no, you, you've never been in prison or you've never been uh, in court. Okay, if you've been mil in military, you also need to provide that. So uh, this is the police certificate we need to you need to show, and then also photocopy of valid passport and biographic data. So your passport you have to carry it, and uh, they have to, you know, when you when you're taking your passport, they already take your f uh, finger biometrics, so you'll have to uh, produce that. So we're going to step number seven, the interview. Okay. So, I believe, uh, let me see, I believe before the interview, you need to do your medicals. Okay, after the Kentucky uh, Center has reviewed your completed DS-260, you may receive a, an email from KCC to let you know that an interview has been scheduled in the U.S. Embassy. Yeah, so after all, they, uh, after you receive that email, that's when you can uh, schedule for an email. Uh, an, uh, an interview but I believe before then uh, there is uh, yeah, preparation for the interview yeah this is the place where you need to go for the medical uh, check
yeah, yeah, this is the place. Uh, schedule and complete a medical examination. Now, this uh, medical examination is only done at one point in Nairobi. It's, ne it's right next to the embassy. Nairobi uh, is ne next to the embassy. And a lot of the countries, even Europe, uh, Australia, they all go there. That's the only acceptable place to go. You cannot go to Kenyatta. You cannot go to Nairobi Hospital. You cannot go to your next door clinic. The only one place you will go for your medical examination is right uh, next to the embassy in Gigiri, in Nairobi. I'm talking about Nairobi. I don't know other countries. So schedule uh, an appointment. And this is very uh, crucial because if, for example, you have tuberculosis, you have uh, syphilis, and maybe maybe now COVID, you have to be treated before. They have to do a treatment before, before you come. And it's very tricky because when you do the medical, they already give you some injections and some vaccination. And this vaccination only lasts for six months. So it means by six months, you should be out of the country. Okay? So sometimes it causes delays because, uh, like for instance, if you you your, your blood draws tests positive for TB, and sometimes, most of the time, they, they do test positive. Yeah? You are, uh, let me go to this stream so I see if somebody... Yeah, good conduct. Uh, yeah, thank you, Janet. Thank you, Janet. Janet is reminding me it's called good conduct. Yes, I had forgotten that name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, certificate of good conduct. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Mama Malaika. George is also here, my good friend. George Muturi, thank you so much. Yeah, it's called certificate of good conduct. Uh, let me see. Somebody else is saying, is saying, hey, Gary, good to see you. I have an interview for B1, B2 later in October. Hey, bro, you are so lucky. Because let me tell you, uh, B1 or B2 visas, I've, I was trying to book for somebody and uh, the only opening for B1, B2 visa is until 2023, in around uh, around August there. Huh? So, uh, and it's not that it's full, it's just because of COVID, they are restricting only for emergency, only for emergency or now green card lottery or uh, spousal visa, spousal uh, something that you need to know is also when you are married, maybe for example to an American, you will uh, you will receive uh, you will receive a green card through a marriage. So it's your spouse who files for you, and uh, you will you will be able to receive a uh, uh, a green card as well. But it's 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 kind of different from the lottery. Lottery is uh, lottery is just it's like Bahati Nasibu. You play uh, out of fifty of our. <laughs> the amount of people in the world is over 7 billion. So out of 7 billion, they pick only 55,000. So you might be lucky. And I didn't know, I didn't believe that green card is true until when I came to the US and a lot of people, a lot of people have come, have actually won the green card. So it's legit. You know, people think like it's a joke. It's not a joke. Uh, it's legit. Uh, so, but... Uh, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're applying for uh, B1, B2, you can still apply for uh, green card because it's a separate entity. It's totally a separate entity. B1 and B2 as a shikani na, na green card lottery. So you can try your luck. And uh, yeah, I pray that you get. Be confident. Uh, make sure whatever you, you wrote on the D, DS160 form, make sure you know it by heart. And look at that person in the eye and talk to them in the eye uh be be referring if it's a man be referring to him as sir if it's a, a lady be referring to her as ma'am okay and look at them in the eye and talk to them uh what what you need to know is uh for a visitor visa sorry i'm diverting a little bit but i have to help my brother peter and Joguna. for a visitor visa they want to know that you have to go back to your country okay so you have to make sure uh Maybe your ties, if you're self-employed, if you're an, an entrepreneur, you have to show that uh, you have uh, ties at home. You have maybe uh, contracts, future contracts. If you're coming here for two weeks or three, three months, show that you have future contracts. Uh, also show uh, ties like if you have children, if you have your wife and you're leaving them, that's what they want to see. So make sure you show them that because for the B1, B2, that's tourist visa. The catch is your ties. Uh, uh, demonstrate to them that you will come back. Okay? 
So that's the, always the catch for uh, B1, B2. And it's it's also by luck. But if you're confident enough, even the papers that you carry won't matter. Okay? Because some people bring files, like files, a lot of files. But nowadays they don't check even those papers. They are like, no, talk to us, talk to us. No papers today, no papers today. That's all they say. No papers today. You have to talk to us, talk to us. Yeah, because they know all these uh, Kenyans, we are known to be cunning, okay? And uh, some, <laughs> if not most of the time, people bring fake stuff. So they know if you tell them, they will read your eyes, they will read your lips, they will see if it's true. But if you show them on paper, they sometimes they can't uh, know if it's truth, the truth or not. Yeah. Uh, is it... It's true, no dates, because mine, I booked it way back in Feb. Yeah, there's no dates. So if you're coming here as a visitor, oh my gosh, it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge. Uh, but uh, the the U.S. Embassy provides another link, provides another link that I've tried to... Uh, let me see that link. Um, let me see, let me see that link. Yeah, there's, there's a link that a U.S. Embassy provides, uh, www.usvisa-info.com. This is also after you've, maybe, for example, you got that date for 2020, 2023, and your case is an emergency. They, they provide this uh, link so that you can go and uh, at least uh, change, your, change your date and give a reason, a valid reason why you, why why your case is a uh, an emergency okay so uh yeah we are almost finishing i didn't want this uh that's why i'm perusing i'm perusing because all this information is something you can go and check by yourself so uh we've said and also you have to know you have to know also uh uh you need to bring your pictures photographs it's two by two so when you go to that studio don't go to a two local studio studio where they don't know even the uh, what a U.S. Uh, passport photo is, yeah, because it's always two by two, two inches by two inches. It's like a square, and with a, w a white background. Okay, what not? Please make sure uh, these are the photo requirements. Let's go. Let's go see these photo requirements. Photo requirements. Okay. Yeah. Your photo or digital image must in color, okay, not black and white, and and it's okay to. Sometimes we we are so furious when you're taking those pictures. In in America, they are not strict. You can smile a little bit, okay. It's not. Uh, you you don't have to be so mad like the ones we took for. Uh, I I always look at my uh, ID picture and I'm like, what is that me? <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Size such that the head is in between one inch and one third inches, as in two, 22 millimeters and 32, 35 millimeters, okay? Or 50% and 69% of the image total height from the bottom of the chin to the top of the head, okay? So you, you must make sure that uh, your, your head, your ears, Everything is is seen and taken within the last six months. Don't bring a photo that you are 18 and now you are 37. They need to see the real you, okay? Like the current you. Uh, taken in front of a plain white or off-white background, okay? It has to be plain white. Uh, taken in full face view directly facing the camera. Yeah, with a neutral fa facial expression and both eyes open. Don't close your eyes. Don't have nowadays even they don't they don't allow glasses. So if you have specs, make sure you you just take with your bare eyes. At least for one second, you you won't go blind, okay? And then taking clothing that you normally wear on a daily basis. Sometimes, <laughs> and this is this is a problem. This is a problem when you go to the United States Embassy, okay? Most people want to dress to kill, eh? dress to kill. I'm telling you, it's so different when you talk about dressing in the United States. Dressing, you see a shirt like mine, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's, it's perfect. Even you can go with a t-shirt as long as it's not written 
uh, obscene words okay so you know we we think that being official is wearing suits and all that in america people only wear suits when whenever they are going for dinners big concerts that's all for work they wear even they wear sometimes uh, just a hoodie yeah it's not when they talk about official it's not like our official because even if you go to church there's no there's nobody who wears suits to church <laughs> Yeah nobody wear, even the pastor pastor dress you can find a big church like a, a 10000 seater but a pastor is just in a t-shirt and a jeans okay if you wear a suit to a, an american church you will feel so awkward you will be the odd one out people will be like ah why is this guy going why is this guy going to uh, so <laughs> yeah okay uh, let me let me bring this to the full screen so that you are able to see sorry if you guys were not able to see so uh yeah take taken in clothing that you normally wear on a daily basis okay uniform should not be worn in your photos like if you maybe a nurse you should not put on your uniform if you are uh, in a school or religious unless maybe a turban a turban i think it's acceptable you see except religious clothing that are worn daily so a turban come on mkorino you are welcome to put on your turban uh you are welcome to put on the uh whatever whatever is religious to you uh they have that uh platform okay do not wear a hat or covering so if you have rastas if you have dready just let them flow unless it's religious clothing okay <laughs> so i gla- th- this is the th- same thing i just said i glasses are no longer allowed in new visa photos so i glasses are not allowed yeah 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 yep 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 so uh let's see yeah they f- if i think even contacts let's see if they if they uh the applicants has recently had yeah oh, okay unless somebody has had a re- uh, recently had an o- ocular surgery and eye glasses are necessary to protect the applicant's eyes okay yeah i don't know i don't see any place they've said uh, anything about contacts contact lenses uh, let's see let's see let's see yeah maybe maybe contacts they've not really talked about it but let's go back so that we finish this yeah so uh yo this is this, this is where we, we we've said uh, uh preparing for your interview this is the examination i was telling you guys uh examination can also make you delay uh, delay your your coming or not because i was saying if your tb test positive you will go again back and do chest x-ray and you're paying <laughs> it's not free you're paying and i think they do everything in dollar cuz everything is ex- so expensive uh, just a chest x- x-ray you'll be paying 10000 or above okay so you do uh, the first uh, job it turns positive you do the next thing you will do is a uh, chest x-ray if your chest x-ray turns positive the next thing you will be able to do is a uh, sputum sputum ni kutoka kikohozi you go every morning you go every morning at 6 o'clock at 6 o'clock you have to be there at 6 o'clock because at 6:30 they are closed they are done they need your your kikohozi before you take tea so <laughs> when i went there when i went there i, I, I you know there's there's a lot of people from uh, somali that uh, uh, win these green cards because of maybe uh, the situation in somali so there's a lot of uh, somali who win this green card so when i, I went there there is always uh, three three small rooms where you go and they are open it's just uh, some sh- they put some clothes to separate these three uh, rooms so you can hear the next person what they are doing so uh, you know i was next to a uh, somali you know what happens okay i'll not go there <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah so make sure uh so if your sputum also turns positive that's a downside for you because now you will need 6 months of medication you will need 6 months of education i mean of medication for for tb 
okay you will need six months for medication and you'll be going there every day there's only two places for tb medication in that are allowed by the united states it's either the gigiri one or the easily there is a, uh, also a, another hospital in easily that is allowed i don't know which hospital is that because i don't know about it but there's only two places where you can take the tb medication so you just pray to god that you don't turn positive and positive and positive because if for instance you you, uh, you you they align you for medication for medication uh for the six months medication that means you will have to start your process again because your uh, vaccinations will have expired and then also your uh yeah your vaccination once your vaccinations are expired you cannot come out of that country because they need your vaccinations uh so that you can come you, you can you can get out of the country and also it's only after it's only after you've passed your tests your 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 physical that's when they give you now the dates to go book your interview so you see it's not easy and then the the interview so you don't get it like immediately especially during covid season sometimes it can take you uh, so much time so um it's it's all about luck and timing it's all about luck and timing okay so i think we're done with that uh we're almost done so <clears throat> applicants interview okay prior to your interview ensure you have following us embassy or consular interview preparation instructions okay must attend the interview the interview is not online you have to attend the interview okay you your spouse and you any qualified and married children immigrating with you must participate in the interview so everybody that you applied the interview with must come to the interview okay you have to follow the procedure you have to follow to follow the procedure though i think it's always first come first serve even if because they give everybody the same time like seven everybody's seven so that's why you find the queues at the nairobi embassy are so long but so you you, you, sh you should make if you want to come you should make sure that you come uh, quite early in advance so that you can be among the first one to be done okay uh what to bring to the interview okay what to the to bring to the inter appointment letter this is what you already printed from the edv website and the ds260 confirmation page once you finish uh, uh fi filling the 260 ds260 you will get to a place where they say this is the confirmation page you need to print that okay and once you print that you need to bring it your passport your passport make sure it's legit make sure it's especially for green card make sure it's just a new passport there's no need to apply a green card with an old passport because if you come here let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you something and uh, uh, this one is another it is another episode but let me just uh, capture it a bit if you come with a passport that is almost expiring okay it's so hard to renew a passport here in the US because like I'm, I live in Washington state Washington state is so far from Washington DC where our embassy is so you see if my passport for instance expires i will just have to live with it yeah recently i was trying to uh <laughs> to renew my sim card hey that process uh, I'll, i'll i'll tell you guys how to how to renew your uh, sim card safaricom sim card when in the us i'll bring you that story next time okay ah uh, yeah original and supporting documents supporting documents is now uh Uh, bring original certified copies of all doc certified copies it means they have been taken to a not notar notarization office and they've been certified for example if anything is a photocopy they have to be certified by somebody who, like a lawyer or yeah somebody of that, of that capacity especially uh documents you submitted to kcc okay so you have to certify them certify means not notar not 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 notarization okay so they use the the term in, here in the us they use the term certi certified certified a lot okay if you cannot speak english bring an english translator it's okay to bring an english translator if you speak only your uh, dialect 
bring somebody who can uh, talk uh, on your behalf and even if your documents maybe require a translation maybe also you can uh, bring if your document require english translation you must obtain certified translations and present them on the day of your interview yeah for example some people maybe uh wrote in another language because you don't understand english so you have to also bring uh a, 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 a translation of what you uh, wrote and then the visa fee always varies because uh the dollar against the shilling always vary so those ones you can check uh, whenever you are ready to uh, uh, apply for your uh, interview you can always check i can't tell you that those ones will always vary and then after the after the interview visa approval once you approved uh let, let's see first of all uh, visa approval when approved you'll be informed how and when your passport and visa will be returned so once you approved there is always a place where you already filled like a ds d what is that office again ds 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 somebody write that <laughs> you know we have another dhss dh dh dhl or oh, dhl 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 yeah there's an office that you write always for dhl where your passport because you leave your passport with the embassy if you are approved okay you leave it with your uh, with the embassy so that they can put the they can put the uh, visa there yeah then uh i will tell you once you get that visa when you come to the us you stay on almost for one month then you get your green card so you'll no longer need your passport anymore if your visa is denied which is rarely if your visa is denied uh, you will be informed why you are ineligible to receive a visa there is additional information about visa denials at the bottom of this, of this page and detailed information available on the denials website so uh most of the time for uh, a green card they they will always if you're missing something they will always give a, give you a chance they will tell you go get this and that yeah uh they it's not like a visitor visa visit visitor visa is so, is so limited so if you if you miss something you're out cuz <laughs> they don't want people to come to the US in that way in that route okay but for uh the green card they want pe- always they want people to come and work here in the US okay visa, when your visa is approved okay uh, your passport your passport also is with your visa your diversity visa will be placed on the page yeah so your diversity visa will be placed on the page if you had other uh, visas prior to that like for example if you had a visitor visa it will be cancelled you will no longer use your visitor visa anymore so uh Yeah so uh if you had like for example my friend uh Peter Njuguna was asking for example if he's going to apply for a, a visitor visa for example if he gets that visa he applies for a green card and he gets a green card that visitor visa will be cancelled so he will no longer need a visitor visa again it, it there's going to be a stamp on your visitor visa that it's uh ruled out but not in a bad way Because some some visitor visas are ruled out in a bad way such that you can never come to the US so US will not be in that manner um yeah if now if you have any questions please you can shoot your questions um uh okay yeah this is very important the sealed immigration packet that you are not allowed to open it until when you get to the port of entry you are not supposed to open this uh, sealed immigrant packet though they give you a cd that is never <laughs> nobody even checks <laughs> nobody checks nobody checks it yeah so and then uh, uh when you should travel uh, you must travel you must arrive and ap- apply for your admission in the us no later than the visa expiration date yeah your visa expires they give you like maybe one year or six months sometimes visa so that you need to go get out of your country and be in the US and also your vaccination records will so that before your vaccination records also expire also children are, are required to have certain vaccinations before they can roll 
they can roll in school so uh this is very important i will tell you if for instance your, ch- your children are born in kenya make sure you have all the records of the vaccination they ever had because when they come to the us without those vaccination this, they will have to start them afresh so make sure you you carry you make uh, you carry all the vaccination records of your children and of yourself if you had any vaccination prior yeah and also if you had uh, x rays you must carry uh, hand carry your x rays with you not pack them in your luggage because sometimes at the port of entry they will ask you to uh, provide those x rays yeah and uh, this all this is about uh, visa denials but you can check them on the uh, ineligibility for the us visas so let me see if anybody has a questions if anybody has a question let's see um abdul sma abdul 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 samed awudu please when will be the application start okay so i just said this uh, before maybe you are not here uh, i'm not sure yet about the application when they are going to start but when they start we will let you know yeah uh, they are supposed to ready to to have started but not yet so uh, we'll alert you when that when that time comes yeah let's see if you have any other questions i believe um i believe this conversation was beneficial to you and to your family to your friends so uh what i require from you is just go to our youtube channel and subscribe and um support us support us go to our youtube channel and, and subscribe mkenya marekani this is our youtube channel let me share that with you here subscribe to go to youtube look for mkenya marekani youtube okay mkenya marekani tv and uh, you will find us there subscribe support us and uh, if you're generous enough you can also become a member of mkenya marekani a member of mkenya marekani uh, you can support us in that way as well because uh, we give you uh, information and since this is a uh, the season for green card we'll be bringing a lot a lot of information regarding uh, green card so make sure you press the bell press the bell so that anytime I um, I come live you'll be able to see and to get that uh, good information okay yeah is there any other question let me see if there is an, any other question on facebook let's go to facebook see whether people are asking questions sometimes that's why i always tell guys to go watch on youtube because sometimes i can't see the questions from facebook um Yeah. Yeah. If there is no any other questions, uh I'm happy that uh I believe you've learned something or true. So make sure you share this and I uh, will see you another time. May God bless you. May God keep you. And remember to like, share, subscribe. See you another time. God bless you.